Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for your attendance. We'll make a start. I've got read this short announcement about the recording of our speech that was on here. So please note that this meeting is being recorded by the Town Council. Please note the recording device is sensitive and the recording cannot be edited. So do not say anything you do not want recorded. If necessary, I will direct all recording in the room to be stopped. But generally, I want to avoid doing that, so we'll normally record everything except any item taken in closed session. Members of the public may also make their own recordings and must follow our rules for doing so, including stopping recording when requested. Whilst we do not accept anonymous speaking at the public forum, members of the public who wish to speak but who do not want their name published must please indicate this before saying their piece. Thank you. I would ask councillors to bear in mind that this week we've heard of the sad loss of Philip Council French's wife. And I'm sure our sympathies will go out if you're on your behalf and you have letters with you to express that in the Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Item one, apologies for absence. We've had apologies from Councillor Carr, <coughs> Councillor Martin, Councillors, both Councillor Stroud. Councillor French and Councillor Fern. Councillor French and Councillor Fern. Thank you. Declaration of interest and request of dispensations. Any members have the interest to declare on today's agenda? Thank you. The firm minutes of the full council meeting held on the 3rd of March. Council's got copies. Accuracy first. First page numbered 186. Second page numbered 187. And the final page numbered 188. Is it your wish that I take those for correct record proposal, please? That's my hand. Second account to the firm. Matters arising. Are there any matters arising on page, the first page, 186? Any on the second page, 187? Any on the last page, 188? Thank you very much. We're today. So item four. Item four is from the matter of writing, sorry. Item C fourteen and three oh B the Hayfield Clock. It's ten o'clock on that day. Yes, that was on the previous uh, minutes, not on this one. Uh, okay. so the third the third one was a cut down meeting. Um, yes, it's to report that uh, actually the day of the last meeting um, I went to uh, see Neil Williams, the art teacher at Samuel Ward, and also Roy Fisher, um, the uh, man in charge of Metcraft, who's doing all of the uh, actual fabrication uh, at Samuel Ward. And uh, we had a look at the angels who were sitting there. Um, they've started to work on the main tower. Um, we were spent some time working out exactly how big it's going to be. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's certainly going to be seen from a distance. Um, you see it over the top of a bus without any difficulty whatsoever. Um, uh, the, uh, what we'd hoped to happen then, what actually happened yesterday, uh, was a visit from the clock manufacturers themselves. Um, they've taken away the clock faces, which I had a look at. They are very, very well done. Very beautiful design by one of the students. And, um, uh, that looks really impressive. So they've, they've now gone off to the clock manufacturer to have all the bits fitted to them and uh, uh, we are uh, remain on course to have the thing um, uh, built and ready to install by April. Is that by the beginning of April? Probably by the end of April. By so the end of April, yes. so would it be installed before the end of April? Uh, all things being equally depend. If it's, <coughs> it's an entry over anything, they found, they found no reason why it couldn't go straight ahead. Any questions? Our original intention was the end of March. Mm -hmm. Was there a delay this? Yeah, uh, what delayed it was the um, clock manufacturer um, was broken into the post of the land site, hence the reason he came three weeks later than originally planned. But the end of April is looking fairly definite, isn't it? Uh, I, well, I hesitate to say anything's definite, but I mean, that, that it is progressing, I certainly hope it is. That's, that's the date we're all waiting for. Is there anything we need to do to ensure that it completes by then? No, no, it's just actually the, the manufacturing being completed. Thank you. Postponement. 
are adjourned and postponed standing orders for reports from the police. I don't think you're here. If they turn up, we'll cover that later. And we'll move straight into Council Bay. Yeah, um, at the last meeting, I asked the clerk to make inquiries of police about replacing Will as the domestic violence support officer. I wonder if he's had a report back on that. I've had a report back on that. Did we ask the question? We did ask the question, but I haven't had Dave. I don't know whether it's because of the announcement of saying, hey, Dave, the car has okay. just been the radio silence. It may be some of the detail, isn't it? Yeah. Is your council's wish that we write to the uh -huh. inspector and ask him to advise us of the situation? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. <coughs> Straight. Thank you, Councillor Byrne. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Straight into the public forum. Anybody got any comments? Councillor Brown? Oh, sorry, sorry, I thought it was Councillor's report. Councillor's report, that's OK. Councillor's report's first. That's fine. Yeah, a um, few things. Um, myself and the clerk, um, I just get uh, Ben, um, a big large wheel you can sort out at the end of Holland's Road where these horrors have been parking and um, throwing rubbish over the fence. Um, and some signs up. They're also going to put some at the end of uh, Rookwood Way as well, which runs up to Holland's Road. Um, I had a meeting with highways around the um, BT box that, they, that was installed down at Swan Lake. Mm -hmm. um, it, just, it was a bit of a surprise to them as well because um, when they actually was consulted on the position of that box, they asked for it to be put up against the wall. Uh, BT at the time said, no, for, for one reason or another, we like it back there. Highways then objected and said, no, um, we need a meeting to discuss this. BT agreed to have a meeting. They didn't um, pull highways back and they just went and installed it. It wasn't until I got highways over the other day and I realised that it was actually where it is. So now, if we get on to BT to see what we can be done because they obviously realise that um, you know, in the future they decide to turn Swan Lane back into a two-way road or anything like that. It's just soaking in an um, inappropriate place and where it is now, it's, they're surprised that the lorry hasn't hit it already. Um, so that's something that's going to be ongoing. Um, the yellow line was supposed to have been started last week. I'm chasing again, so um, that's, I won't be replying back on that. Um, but also um, chase them about the uh, si significant amount of potholes on Hellings Park Avenue, hoping to get those done at the same time as they resurface Mill Road at the end of this month. Um, so I'll we'll wait for an answer back on that as well. Um, yeah, there's a new uh, policy on potholes, and I'm only the messenger on this, <laughs> so don't hang me on this one. Um, basically, um, where they um, sought to actually uh, fill a, um, an urgent um, pothole um, on a temporary basis. But basically, they were filled within 24 hours on a temporary basis. Now, they've had a new policy where <coughs> they had to do a, a permanent repair within 48 hours. That's on the main roads, but on the smaller roads, that can be up to five days. Um, but they still um, got to be one hour emergency response for dangerous potholes. Um, they think that that will make their response times and um, the actual service a lot better um, over time because um, they won't have to keep coming back to put temporary uh, repairs in potholes. It's just, that's the question of mine but anyway. Um, yeah, uh, Southern County Council this week started cleaning the uh, paintwork on the bridges over the stairwell as part of the, um, the uh, spring clean, so I hope that um, comes up. Um, also, I'll be asking a question at full council on Thursday around um, when the missing section of the railway walk cycleway will be finished. You know, one up by the, the missing section up by the um, skate park. Um, they've got the money for it. Um, we've been pushing it for over a year now. You um, can't get straight on something like this. So I'm going to ask a question at council. Hopefully, the problem with it. Um, so, thank you, thank you Councillor Brown. Councillor Plough. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. For the county budget, I've been running around spending, well, it's taxpayers' money which is designed to be spent in Hayden and I found a scanner, donation for a scanner, um, the Churchill School, the Clement School Library, which I like libraries, 
they're very good for, for children. They educate them out of poverty. Their social mobility it comes from libraries. And the other thing I spent is actually on the library itself, which we just put a bid in today. Um, the pavement outside Holland and Barrett's has got two or three loose slats. I don't know who, which uh, particular council that area is in. I'm sure somebody can report it. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Councillor Brown. Yeah, can I just ask a question of uh, Councillor Brown? Um, we know that um, the government gave out, I think the figure was 20 billion for highways across the country. Do we know how much Suffolk County Council was allocated to do roads, potholes, um, and 80 million, but I don't know if that's just for Suffolk or for the whole of well, Can thing. we find out? Yeah, I'll find out. And yeah. can we find out how much they've got in reserves in terms of that particular area of responsibility, whether it's transport or highways? Yeah. I'd like to know what they've got in reserves because yeah. I understood they'd put quite a substantial amount of money into their reserves. Um, I just need it confirmed, really, that um, they're not stashing it away when they should be spending it in Haverhill. That grant is for trunk roads. It's not for um, local roads. Haverhill, as you know, doesn't have a trunk road because the trunk road system was frozen in 1946 and our population then was 4,000. And they haven't caught up the fact that 27,000 was going on 35. I don't know how you change the law um, that was written down last in 46, but we'll see what we can do. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you. Okay. Members of the public. Last sure. Oh, that's, that's my usual thing. Um, I understand. I, I just wonder whether it's possible. Uh, it's, this might be for the Leisure Committee, perhaps, but um, payment of credit debit cards and more modern methods like PayPal and contactless payments at the cafe and also online as well when booking art centre things. You have to use a credit card or a debit card if you're doing it online. There's no method to using PayPal or those sort of things. A lot of people have PayPal accounts. Whether we can maybe look into that. Electronic payment for yeah, yeah, so basically, yeah. Okay. So people can, you know, particularly the cafe where people probably spend ten quid. Is I mean, I'm, thing as far out. as I'm aware, it's possible to pay for the theatre tickets electronically. You can do it direct debit, uh, sorry, 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 credit okay. cards and debit cards, but you can't do it through okay. like PayPal or things like that. Okay. Um, literally about an hour ago, I had an email from Councillor Sarah. Um, Mild made wide, which I haven't really digested very much, but I managed to print it out um, about the Chalkstone Community Centre. But um, my initial read of it is that it's one and a half pages, or two and a half pages actually, of waffle, and about two paragraphs of a couple of the answers to the questions I gave them. So I should need this to be going back to it again. Um, it doesn't really mention the town council at all other than the fact that you, uh, they were consulted in, I think it said 2009. Um, but subsequent to that, there's been no consultation which is what we saw at the CAFA meeting uh, when it was a couple of weeks ago. Um, the only other question I had was someone uh, asked me downtown last week. Um, the cleanup is coming up on um, uh, Friday, Saturday. If somebody is injured whilst Using equipment provided by the town council, who's liable? The town council has full liability insurance to cover activities that it undertakes in accordance with its duties. It, and the whole town? Everywhere. Yeah. Wherever we're conducting it. That's fine. I mean, I, that's why I sort of said to them, but uh, it was a question to ask. But people volunteering, whatever, wherever they're volunteering, would be advised that they're covered. We have that's fine. advice on some health and safety issues. Uh, and the lady people's fears about if someone slips where you clean, it's not your fault unless you can't yeah. really be negligent. I think, the, I mean, I don't know if this particular person was looking at doing something themselves, 
but coming down here to the other, picking up a few plastic bags or whatever, and then going up to where they were not actually, you know, saying, well, they'll provide these material after the work, wherever I'm going to be, wherever they live. So. Clearly, the town council can only provide liability insurance or ex liability insurance for activities organised directly by the council. Yeah. I would anticipate that big property owners working outside their properties would have their own liability insurance. I hope they'd be down on that. No, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Yeah. Any other members of the public council? Yeah, is it going to be a render? We wonder if you're pointing something like that for the town or something like that. Here. Same thing. Yeah. What yeah. sign? What sign? Yeah. 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 It's on the link that we've given you, Councillor Brown. You've had by email. <laughs> <laughs> Ten apologies. I haven't seen any issues, by the way. And have a look at the Hazel uh, Weekly News, which has been covering it for the last three months. I thought it should fresh everyone. Thank you, Councillor Brown. Very kind of you. Any other members of the public? Thank you very much. We'll resume the standing orders. Item 5, 1 Haverhill. Verbal report of the Town Park on one Haverhill activities, specifically important preparations for the community cleanup. Um, right, yes, the uh, Arts Centre is gradually filling up with um, uh, high vis jackets and gloves and uh, uh, bag holders, etc. Um, we've had an um, encouraging start in terms of the uh, uh, groups coming forward to. Um, uh, volunteer their services and uh, also we are now getting uh, more and more individuals coming forward, uh, families etc, volunteering their services. As was previously mentioned, um, uh, whilst it's absolutely fine for people just to go out and do their own thing if that's what they want to do, if we don't know about it then it's, it's none of our business so to speak. But we would like to know about it, uh, we would like to be able to demonstrate how many people have got involved in and, and, and done things. So um, we are encouraging people to uh, let us know what they're up to and if they're not sure where they want to go and it happens to be that their own verge is nice and trimmed already and there isn't any litter around their own gardens or their own road, um, <coughs> then uh, we can coordinate sending them to various places etc uh, to join with other groups as well if that's what they want to do. Um, but we've, um, we've seen in the paper last week, um, uh, Hughes Electrical um, have volunteered to do around the back of their shops, we've got Iceland, etc. Um, uh, enormous amounts of litter there for them to pick up. Um, Art Centre staff were out last week, clearing around the Art Centre, will be out again this week. Um, Air Cadets are getting involved, uh, clearing the back of the store rooms. Um, Tesco staff, volunteering. Um, uh, Matthew Hancock uh, will be doing something with Castle Manor School. Um, the, uh, and we've got various families. So the Methodist Church um, is uh, getting involved, so is Haverby Housing. Uh, they've uh, got a couple of workers out of that to assist as well. Um, so uh, just a kind of cross-section, a sort of variety of um, work that's going on. So. Uh, yeah, it's all looking very positive. Um, we're all set up here really for Friday and Saturday. Um, uh, there'll be the photographer wandering around taking photographs. Another good reason why we need to know where people are and what they're doing because we can't send a photographer if we don't know that it's going on. And um, yeah, that's, so it's very encouraging. Thank you, Senator Park. Um, Council, I'm really very really hopeful that this will be a, the start of something much bigger and they can become more regular for people to feel they can clean up their own area if they can look after our town themselves. Naturally, we'll be looking to the borough to, if there are costs involved in the future, to see that they pay their fair share. But it's a great sign that so many people, including businesses, schools, and other organisations, <coughs> are prepared to come out and actively support it. I'm delighted that already, as Councillor Brown's mentioned, the borough have started clean up the bridges on the book and it, it makes a remarkable difference. I didn't even know those ratings were white. Yeah, the borough is supporting us with, uh, they've got people who will be out and about picking up the, the litter bags. That they right, sorry, the council. Yeah. Any questions on the preparations for the clean up? No, can I make a comment, do you think? Sorry, it's actually it's nothing to do with cleaning up, it's still health and safety. As I came down the steps from the car park, straight ahead in the road entrance, 
There was a machine there with two prongs. No warning lights around it, no rights on the end of the prongs, which was still quite dangerous. And it's broken the you know, exits to the road, people have to come around there like that. And it looks terrible and it looks quite dangerous. It's not breaking or is it parked? There's no one is parked there. And there's no lights or warnings of any kind on it. That's so safe with the hangar. Yes, that. yes. That's just a, not a clean up problem, right? It's just an health and safety problem. Thank you, we're happy to raise that. Councillor. I just really want to make a comment and I'm probably going to be kicked under the table. I'm very pleased that Matthew Hancock is coming on the clean up. <laughs> But I think he needs to be prepared for lots of questions about other things, <laughs> even though um, this is going to probably be in his own time. Um, I'm not going to say no more because of that on there. But, um, <laughs> but um, on a serious note, um, yeah, OK, he's the MP and he's coming into Haverhill and we just see how many bags he picks up before he disappears. He'll be there for the photo shoot, no doubt. But um, forgive me for being so. Um, yeah, it's a favourite shoot he has to arrange by himself with that. That's good. I think it's only fair to recognise that he has offered to help with the yes. activity, and mm -hmm. that's entirely a generous offer. I'm sure he's a very busy man. I don't agree with his politics. I welcome him to help us clear up the time. So do I, and I will help him too. Item B, 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 this shouldn't take too long. I think most people will know where we're at with the master plan. Do you want to make So the consultation is, the uh, questionnaire is available online, it's available from here. Um, I think that one of the main things, of course, is for councillors themselves to remember to turn up next Thursday. Mm -hmm. sure. can, I, can I give my apologies for 26? I'm, I must admit, I've been to three master plans, so yeah, I've, have done your bit. <laughs> I've done my little bit. I mean, I've got a, a prior report very St Edmunds on that particular evening. Councillors representing the Town Council either at Hall or at one Haver Hill would already have seen the consultation that's coming next week. But I'm conscious a lot of councillors haven't seen it. It's important that you have an opportunity to direct your questions and understand completely what's being proposed in the consultation. Councillor Hutchin. I've just still been there to support it. Thank you. Item 6, Adoption of Committee Reports. A Bills Committee and Finance Committee have not met. Leisure and Community Committee councillors should have copies of the minutes. The meeting held on Tuesday, the 10th of March. Councillors got copies? Breakfast is in. Oh, we've got me now as being absent. I don't sit on that committee, it never had them. That's why he was absent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's an old copy, yeah. isn't it? The I've, I've never seen that. The so subject to the Legion of Council right from the absences, do we adopt that? Move to Personnel Committee has not met, and the final committee meeting for adoption is the planning committee held on the 3rd of March. We've got your role here and you're council right there. No, I'm present. You were present. I was present. Thank you. Sit <laughs> We missed you. I'm going to talk about it later. I'll say we want it. Okay, all those are the way. Yeah. Item 7, authorised payments. We remind councils always that these are changes of payments that are authorised by two councils. So the cheques are signed and the payment is to checked. This is a summary of the ones that happened between our two meetings. Seek your permission to authorise these payments. Yeah, I'll second. I'm to make to receive any urgent correspondence. Is there urgent correspondence? There is no urgent correspondence. Items 9 and 10 are advised there are no staffing matters, so we don't need to exclude the present public. We're straight on to item 11, date of the next meeting, the dates are there. We've already mentioned the master plan meeting Thursday the 26th. The next and final full town council meeting will be on the 28th of April. Uh, thereafter the meetings are subject to the, the annual election. So although the elections may determine who's going to be present, the outgoing councillors will be present at those meetings. And certainly. 
Thank you for your attendance.